Yo, Dark Lord, Dark Coat, I'm back, you know what I'm saying? It feels good to um to be free. I was away for a while, now I'm back. Um, I'm excited because I'm about to actually do so much more and go so much harder than before and um and I have a, I just have a deeper and, and a newer a wider perspective of, of things and you know um I'm just appreciating life more now than I did ever before and I also want to share with you that it's time that it's time to really get serious yo and, and push the envelope when it comes to consciousness because we have to we not only have to keep the, the portal of consciousness open for ourselves but we have to stretch the portal of consciousness to where it reaches third world countries and shit. We got to stretch that portal of consciousness to where motherfuckers in Africa talking about, oh, yeah, the Palladians. I know who the Palladians are. You talking about, you know what I'm saying? The Anunnaki. Y'all know who the Anunnaki are. We need to push this shit further to where this shit reaching people in China where they talking about, yo, I can fly. I can run at the speed of light. I can do this. I can do that. I'm a superhero. We need to open up this portal of consciousness so hard. So what I want to do is I want to charge every last one of you to start being proactively involved in pushing and, and keeping the portal of consciousness open, but, but expanding this portal of consciousness. And what I mean by doing that, I mean, I mean by when I say push the envelope of consciousness, that means in every single conversation that you hold, you should be trying to drop something consciously on something. You need to be in every conversation that you hold with somebody, you shall always strive to make a, a, an impression on that person and also drop some consciousness on them. Drop a drop some drop a, a, a atom bomb in, in their mind. Put an atom bomb. Drop an atom bomb on their ass. Give them something to be conscious of. You see what I'm saying? Like I was having a um, a conversation with somebody, and I said, you know what? I said, um, I said we don't even have to eat. I said we don't we eat because we we're programmed to eat. We really don't even have to eat. We really don't even have to sleep. And I said, I want you to think back to the time when you was young. And your parents used to sit you down and literally make you eat because because there was a time when you never wanted to eat. You was all where you was already in dream time. You was already in Alice in Wonderland. You was already in Wonderland. You was already in dream time. All you wanted to do was play. And when it rained, you wanted to go outside and be in the rain. You wanted to build a tree house. You knew that you could fly. You had a cape around your neck. You used to jump over high rises and shit thinking that you can fly. Think back to the time when you when you actually touched the fire and you never got burnt before your parents slapped you on the wrist and, and programmed you with the hot and cold program. The time when 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 they had to make you go to sleep because you never wanted to go to you didn't ever want to go to sleep. Think back to those times. So when you talk about coming into the fifth dimension, all you're talking about is going back to doing the things that you did when you was a child. That's why in the Bible, Yahshua said, remember when he when he when he was when he fed the when he fed five thousand men plus women and children. And then after that, he had went and he was doing some teaching and it was a little kid, some kids around. And, they, and the disciples said, oh, let, let's get these little kids out of here. And he said, no. And Yahshua called for one of the kids and he sat the child on his lap and he said, surely I say unto you that no man can enter into the kingdom of heaven, talking about the fifth dimension, unless you're just like this little child right here. You got to be innocent, just like a child. And when we talk about innocence, we're not talking about a woman who put their trust in a the, in the man and she cooked for him and cleaned with him and cleaned for him and, and had his back and did everything and then he broke her heart or a man who put his trust in a woman and did all of the right things, but it was the wrong person and, and she broke her, his heart and some of that innocence was taken i ain't talking about that kind of innocence even though i'm talking about that kind of innocence too you know what i'm saying the thing what i'm talking about is the child when you when you when you had an active imagination i say all the time my active imagination gives birth to infinite abilities i'm talking about to when you was a child and you had an active imagination you know what i'm saying and you actively knew you actively knew, you know what I'm saying, that you can fly and that you can run at the speed of light. And you used to think that you was Speedy Gonzalez and shit. And you used to think that you was Flash Gordon and ran hecka fast. All of that. That's that's what that's what the fifth dimension is about. The fifth dimension is about thinking as a child. You know what I'm saying? And and, and going back to the times where you no longer have to sleep. Because when you come into the fifth dimension, the very first thing that the Palladians are gonna tell you is that everything is optional. 
The Palladians are going to be the first one to greet you and they're going to tell you everything is optional. You can you can choose to eat if you want to. If you want to engage in that experience, then you can choose to eat. You can choose to sleep if you want to. That's an experience. You can choose to you can choose to, to, to fly, teleport, shape shift, whatever. Your thoughts are physical in the fifth dimension. But the way to get there is by doing the things that 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 you did when you was a child before you was forced to do things other words like like you you never used to, you didn't want to eat because you knew that the food was bad and just like z infinity said that uh dr sebi once said that all all everyone comes out lactose intolerance you automatically come out knowing to stay away from mucus you you automatically come out knowing to stay away from milk and cheese automatically that's that's a given and then you, your your biology the, your biological chemistry is programmed to, to dislike certain kind of foods. You know what I'm saying? And your parents had to make you eat that. That's why we say that your parents are the first MK Ultra Mind Control programmers. So you got to think back to the time when you when you didn't even want to eat. You know what I'm saying? When 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 all you wanted to do was play and, and be in your imagination and, and live in those worlds that you were creating and fly and teleport and all of that when you when you used to talk to your Barbie dolls and your Barbie dolls used to talk back when you used to talk to your GI Joes and Transformers and your GI Joes and Transformers used to talk back to you and you played with them and had real life experiences and shit you know what I'm saying that time because that's what the fifth dimension is about and what I mean by pushing the envelope of consciousness is that in every conversation that you hold you should be you supposed to be trying to find a way to provoke consciousness, trying to find a way to plant a seed of consciousness into somebody's head, because that is what keeps this portal of consciousness open. Each one teaching one. You know, I can give you a fish for, for right now and I'll feed you for a day. But if I teach you how to fish, I'll feed you for a lifetime. You see what I'm saying? I'll be feeding you for a lifetime. So the objective is to not give you a fish, but to teach you how to fish. You see what I'm saying? And so every conversation that you have, I want you from this point on, this is a supercharge. I'm supercharging you and I'm asking you from this point on to every conversation that you have, find a way to slick in something of consciousness to where you, you provoke consciousness. You make, you make them aware of something that they wasn't first consciously aware of, you know, and that's how you keep yourself on the awakened path. But that's also, that's also how you usher in other people so that they can get onto their awakened path. Yo, it's, it's time out for that sluggish shit. It's time out for that, you know, just holding on and just staying in stale consciousness. You got to come out of the stale consciousness. You got to come out of the comfort zones. And it's and it's all about pushing the envelope and stretching and seeing how far this shit can go. You know what I'm saying? So it's all about keeping that portal of consciousness open and stretching it. Every conversation, provoke, put the conver put turn the conversation into a conscious conversation. Find a way to manipulate. Like, have you ever talked to a Jehovah Witness and they found a way to manipulate Jehovah in every conversation? Like, you, like you would be talking about football, and then the next thing you know, they switch the whole shit around, and you talking about Jehovah and repenting for sins and shit. You know what I'm saying? Or you would be talking about a new movie that came out, and they ex tactfully go from talking about this movie to talking about Jehovah. You see what I'm saying? That's the same shit. You got to be a missionary of this gospel but this gospel ain't got nothing to do with an organized religion it has everything to do with 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 consciousness you know what i'm saying and so and so that's what it's all about it's about and it's good news it's good news that you know what i'm saying that you can run at the speed of light teleport shape shift that you have all these different abilities that's good news and when you when you have good news you want to share good news whatever it is that you're passionate about you naturally want to share it you have people that can talk football all day long and, and name statistics and dates and years and championships and shit you got people who can talk about sports all day because that's their passion that's something that's good news to them and whenever they're around someone they want to share what they're passionate about you got people who can talk about fashion all day they can tell you all about louis vuitton gucci uh prada fendi uh uh, uh Versace. they can tell you about you know um armani all that shit all day long and, and because that's their thing they're they're passionate about you know fashion you have people who can talk about um christ all day long because they're passionate about christ the thing is is that you have to get passionate about something dealing with consciousness and whatever it is that you're passionate about that's keeping you conscious whether that's aliens whether that's you know talking about the palladians whether that's talking about the anunnaki whether that's talking about draco whatever it is that's keeping you conscious and you're passionate about it then passionately find a way to incorporate your, your that 
what you're passionate about consciously into every single conversation. And that's how we're going to begin to stretch this portal of consciousness. You know what I'm saying? And that's how it's going to spread all over. And by the time everybody get into this consciousness, it ain't, it ain't going to, this vortex is going to be so strong that, that the beasts is going to have to surrender. So again, I'm the Dark Lord. This is the Dark Code. I'm dropping in, you know what I'm saying? From, you know what I'm saying? The Itverse broadcasting to you on behalf of 13 Cosmic Law Astrology and the University of Cosmic Mysteries and Dark. I love you, yo. It's important for you to stay to, to to survive. So go out, man, and let's let's do what we gotta do, man, to get this this planet back on this rightful track, yo. I love you. Completion.